talking about Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Defense in the first half, 18 plays, and we hadn't slowed them down yet, 10 yard average. In the second half, that's the first time one of my halftime talks ever worked. <laughs> You know, I'm proud of our guys. Offensively, I'm really proud of them the whole game. You know, we didn't score an offensive touchdown. We all know that. But we moved the ball between the 20s. We control the ball. They're very talented on offense. I mean, you just got to keep them off the field. And our offense did that most of the game. And uh, defensively, we, we uh, made some good adjustments at halftime. Our players were bound and determined not to let them run the football. They just had us guess in the first half. It was a big win for us after last week. It's, and we, we talked to our players and our team chaplain said yesterday, you know, we, we broke the we broke the jar and there's a million pieces everywhere. You know, the challenge of this game was to pick them back up and put them together. And uh, I'm so proud of them. I'm proud of the fans. It just it was a that was a, a, a team victory from beginning to the end. And you know they they earned it. Uh, I feel bad for uh, Florida. You know I know how hard it is to play in this conference week in and week out. They've got a tough schedule as we all do. Tough to play on the road. Uh, I know how disappointed they are. We've been there before. We were there last week, but you know they they've got a good team, and you know, fortunately for us tonight, we found enough plays to to have more points than they did. We finally got to be able to do it tonight. What kind of difference does it make? These playmakers, obviously. What um, when they ran Tebow out there early and they got the touchdown run, did that kind of catch y'all? Maybe best no, part? we were in what we wanted to be. It's what we prepared for all week, and obviously it didn't work. We were in a double eagle front. We wanted to be able to flush the ball outside, make him run east and west, and our, our inside out support didn't come quick enough, and he was able to get to the edge. It's exactly what we wanted to be. It just didn't work. There at the end, you had a couple of big plays in the second area, Brock interception, uh, Pat Lee took up the, the ball there. Just talk about how those guys responded. Well, when you affect this quarterback, he'll throw it to you. And that's what happened tonight. We knew if we got four pressures with four and five, we would be able to get the ball thrown to us, and that's what happened. What, what does it mean to you to have your defense come out in the second half and play like they did? Does that mean a lot to you and, and your guys? It doesn't mean anything to me. It's great for these kids because they deserve it. They've been through a lot, and I'm happy as a heck for them because they continue to play hard. They continue. We continue to do the things we always do. We just play a little better. Line play is what I'm interested in. What did you see from oh, maybe geez, the first half of the second? We, we did a great job of moving them. I mean, as long as we didn't put ourselves in bad down a distance, I thought our offensive line played great. We get pretty good push on our runs. Our backs were hitting it hard. We played Auburn football tonight, through and through. Run the football, play action pass, move the pocket a little bit. You know, we uh, should score more points. No doubt about that. Now. And that's you know, we got to look at that. We can't just say, well, we're okay because we won. But for the most part, in terms of playing as a team, which is what we emphasize this week. I thought our kids came out and showed what they were all about. Uh, what about Brandon Cox's performance? He took a lot of hits in the first half, but no turnovers on it. No, and he's done what he's done all year. When given the opportunity, he's he's pretty solid player. You know, we uh, his numbers aren't dynamic. I don't know how five or six touchdown passes all year, but we're six and one. We're six and one because he's taking care of us. You know. So. Did you make any adjustments on offensive line in the second half? Do you think y'all get a five or ten sacks on the field? Well, we just you know they they made a pact it. There, those kids at halftime said, the quarterback ain't going down anymore. And they were, you know, they, that's the adjustment. It was an attitude adjustment. They said, the quarterback ain't going down anymore, and he didn't go down. I just, I think this this game, uh, although a team win, uh, I think uh, a lot of credit has to go to our offensive line. Now, talk about, are you a little proud of this team, the way they bounce back? Oh, against, so the way proud. They play against I can't even tell you. We showed what we were all about. You know, when you're, when you're backed up against the wall, and I said it before, I said the good news is we play Florida this week. We don't play somebody that if we beat them, everybody say, oh, yeah, well, they, they can beat them. We played a team that was, you know, a legitimate national uh, championship contender, and the kids came out and answered the call. 